What's up guys, welcome back to Trouble, back to another video. And in today's video, uh, we are still working on the 328 daily. There's so many things I wanna do to this car. I'm gonna continue doing it because I really enjoy it. There's something about modifying your daily for so, so, so cheap that makes it so, so satisfying. And at the same time, there's a couple maintenance items that we need to get done on this thing. Something I actually ended up doing off camera is that my AC compressor ended up failing. So shout out to my boy Erlon, took it to him. He got it all sorted out and now my AC is working perfectly fine. That 328 it does have a lot of little things that need to be worked on and thankfully the AC compressor is one of them that got sorted now the other thing right here I got these from FCP year with a lifetime warranty these are their control arms um, I believe it's called Mile. so these are an OE product for the fraction of the cost at any point any of the bushings or anything ever goes wrong with it hey we got that lifetime warranty backed up by FCP year so that's the reason one with these guys if you guys want to get anything from FCP links gonna be down below but we also got some modifications you guys know that I got those m3 kind of like run boards those like side door seals I ended up getting those the same time I got the headliner in the m3 interior but I never had time to actually get it installed so finally gonna be installing the m sport door seals on the car it's gonna look so 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 good and at the same time we have some other upgrades and the, the major ones like right there guys a month ago on YouTube I told you guys to spam Oz's like Instagram or whatever and you guys absolutely killed it. yes killed it to the point to where they reached out to me saying hey you guys your, your followers are blowing us up so uh, we heard you need an e92 steering wheel and I was like Yes, and like we actually have one with the yellow stripe. Would you be interested? And I was like, yes. So that's what's sitting right behind this. We'll be showing you guys that in a little bit. Um, we also got some other little things as well for the interior. This piece on my driver's door is kind of beat up. So we have a new piece there, not new, but used. Um, I don't even have one of these in my car. So this is gonna be a new addition to it. Um, this is also gonna be a little new addition. I don't have any of those on my car. I ended up picking up this BMW AirSense starter kit. I actually use my own air fresheners, but this just looks super good in the interior. Just like another detail piece I want my interior. Now, as far as the driving gloves, I've never thought I'm actually gonna be wearing BMW driving gloves when I drive, but this is an Alcantara steering wheel, and we have an Alcantara uh, shift knob, as you guys know, for an end performance one from BMW, and now we're gonna have an Alcantara boot and an Alcantara uh, e-brake, so that being said, um, we need to put on some driving gloves when we're driving the beast. So yes, yeah, so we have a lot of new additions to the 328, and I really wanna get them installed, but uh, for those of you guys who are wondering what's going on with the 640 and the Supra, so I'll fill you guys in real quick. So the 640i, I actually took that battery down to AutoZone because it is a Duralast battery and I tried to get it exchanged under the warranty. They actually tested the battery and they said it's perfectly good with an 85% um, like charge on it. So that's not the problem. It's definitely gonna be something to do with the engine, just not getting enough power. Um, based off my research and based off the things I've done, I actually removed all my ignition coils that had the dining ignition coils that are super nice. I might even be throwing that on onto another car just because it was super sick. <laughs> we took out the NGK spark plugs too, which look in really good shape, honestly. There's nothing actually wrong with any of these spark plugs. And what a coincidence, out of nowhere, we just got a brand new Patreon. Might as well shout out my boy right here. So thank you, Nick, for joining the Patreon. I'll let you guys know what's going on with my Patreon in a little bit, but we did get a new member, not to mention a VIP member, since he pledged to be a VIP. But anywho, um, before we get into all that Patreon stuff, again, the 640i, the 640i, uh, we took off the ignition coils, the spark plugs, and uh, now I'm pretty much gonna be doing, I'm gonna be draining the oil, hopefully in the next video. Uh, probably gonna be like 640i, but I'm gonna drain the oil. I'm gonna try to turn that thing over by hand and the goal is to try to get it running. Now, if it's gonna run really, really, really rough or really crazy or like things just don't sound right, um, that doesn't matter, mainly because I just want that thing to be able to move so you can get it on a trailer, off a trailer, stuff like that in the meantime. So regardless, if it runs like baloney schmoney, I don't care. As long as we can get the thing to turn over, that is the goal. So we're gonna try to replace the oil. We're gonna try to crank it by hand without the spark plugs and the coils. You guys told me to do that in the last video, so I am listening. I do read all the comments. <laughs> so if you guys are excited to see if the 640i turns over, make sure to stay tuned to the next video and in terms of the super again we are waiting on a collaboration to be done on that car i do have the quarter panel right over there and we pretty much have everything else we really need to get that super back together but i'm just waiting to do it with another youtuber that is the goal because um if we can actually do it in this garage the entire job with his professional skills um we'll be able to learn a thing or two because obviously when you're working on your own car you want it to be absolutely perfect when you send it to somebody else they don't care how perfect it is as long as they get the job done and they give it back to you so for us we want that thing to be perfect so now you guys know the update on the super now you guys know the update on the 640i there's actually 
featured another car that you guys actually don't know about, mainly because my Patreons are the only ones that are gonna know and be updated on this new build. For those of you guys who've always wanted me to get an X series, I'm not gonna say exactly which series I got, but some kind of SUV, BMW truck. I ended up picking up one of those bad boys and it's gonna be a Patreon build. I ended up picking it up for a really, really, really good deal. I've already posted pictures and updated everything of this build on my Patreon. And my Patreon is gonna be helping me determine what we're gonna be doing to that exact build. And hopefully once you get everything sorted and everything dialed in, everything looking super good, doing all the modifications to it on Patreon. I'll show you guys, of course, the SUV in the end. But if you guys wanna be a part of the SUV build, make sure you check out that Patreon down below because you guys are gonna be determining the wrap color, the interior color, what kind of body kit, all that good stuff. So what are you guys doing? Make sure to join the Patreon. But without further ado, um, now that we got pretty much, uh, yeah, the other build sorted, 640i Supra, uh, let's get the 320 in the side and show it some more love because I honestly can't get enough of just modifying this thing. I love this car. Now the first thing I want to do guys is actually get these three things installed and then we can get into all the modifications in a bit. Now, before all the Alcantara goodies, let's go ahead and install the two new door seals. These are gonna look so much better than these ugly OEM ones. I really don't like these whatsoever. These M ones just take it to a whole nother level. So now that we got all those OEM pieces in the car, we have the brand new M Sport door seals on there. Um, now before I actually do any of the suspension components because my hands are gonna be super dirty, I don't wanna do that and then actually start doing the Alcantara stuff and all the Alcantara stuff gets super dirty. So the first things first, um, I do wanna start knocking out this Alcantara stuff. I guess we can go ahead and install this air freshener first. So three, two, one. And check out how good that thing looks. This is an OEM BMW air freshener. When you go this way and turn on the AC, the scent gets blown in your face. It's super nice. Now does it work that great? Probably not. Honestly, I've, I've owned a couple of these and they don't really work that great. They just look super good and they just add another addition of like the BMW logo and everything. This looks super good in the interior. I think it's a nice detailed piece. I am gonna be getting this screen fixed up. You can actually repair this kind of like wear and tear on your screen. I will get that fixed up eventually, but uh, that's not the goal of today's video. Today's video, we're gonna be replacing this boot right here and this boot right here. This has a white stitching from the Alcantara M Performance shift knob from BMW. So I went with white stitching here and I went with white stitching here. Hopefully it lines up pretty good. It looks pretty decent. This is my first time ever doing a project like this before. I've never actually replaced this boot before. So let's go ahead and move this boot and this boot and try to replace those two. All right, so now that we have the shifter boot off the car and this boot off the car, we do need to push this thing inside out and remove this uh, this handle right here. And then we do need to cut the zip tie that's right back here. So now that this thing is inside out, you guys can see that zip tie we need to cut. Um, and I don't know how this thing pretty much comes off of the bracket because when you guys buy the boots, they don't actually come with brackets, unfortunately. So we do need to figure out a way um, to, I don't know how to do this. I've never actually done this before. I need to watch a video probably myself and then uh, go ahead and try to knock this thing out. And after watching another video myself, I realized that I need some super glue, some super glue adhesive spray and then some also super glue just for the edges as well. So uh, I'll catch you guys when I get back from Walmart. All right guys, so we got some Gorilla Glue adhesive and we got some Gorilla Glue right down there. And we have obviously all of our Alcantara and our new boots and everything. So let's go ahead and just try putting it together. I'm gonna put this in time lapse because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> There's no point in me trying to explain what I'm doing. I'm just gonna try to finesse this and hopefully it works. Now, before showing you guys all the new Alcatara bits to put in the interior, check out the brand new wheel. Oh, I just dropped the wallet from Azla Auto Wheel, guys. 
we just got a full Alcantara steering wheel with the yellow stripe. It's got yellow and red stitching all around the sides as well for the details. We're probably going to end up going with a yellow push button start and a yellow M button right here as well once we actually get that stuff in as well. That's honestly taking forever to get delivered. So we're just going to be installing the steering wheel anyways for today. And I'm also going to be throwing on my original M3 style uh, trim piece onto here um, just so it gives a little bit of a good contrast of Alcantara but also an OEM touch. You guys are going to see what I'm going to end up doing with this steering wheel. It's going to look so, so, so good. This also has a paddle shift cutouts. So uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for spamming all the auto wheel to get me the steering wheel. I'm super excited for it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get her in there. So this is our brand new steering wheel from Azza Auto Wheel. Again, looks absolutely beautiful. I love, I love the handle grips. I don't know if you guys have noticed with Azza steering wheels, they're literally handcrafted from the start. They don't just literally wrap leather or wrap Alcantara over a standard wheel. They actually make a cast and engrave the steering wheel before actually putting on the Alcantara in such high quality. It looks so good. We got the flat bottom down there as well. So much thicker and your hands just fit in there so nicely. I mean, guys, yeah, just look at their work all the way around from all edges, like nothing like this honestly doesn't even look human made it looks so perfect such high quality this is our steering wheel we have the m3 steering wheel with a dct paddles a perfect m3 piece over here that's not peeling whatsoever so that's why i actually want to transfer this piece onto here i think it looks super sick and i want to transfer over my dct paddles my buttons everything over here as well we literally have the entire plate that we need to transfer over to this one the only reason i really want to get rid of the steering wheel as you guys know is because it's kind of like cracking up here it's not a big deal but as this interior is coming together more and more and more i want it to look absolutely perfect Perfect. And his Alcantara steering wheel looks so, so, so good. And now this actually makes more sense. Every time I get into this interior, we have an Alcantara Ebrook, Alcantara shift knob, Alcantara shift uh, boot for the for the shift knob. And we have an Alcantara steering wheel. Everything we're touching in the interior, um, it, we don't want to put any grease or sweat or anything. So that's why I got these BMW gloves on there. Um, it's going to look a little weird because, uh, I mean, I, I never wore gloves before in my life. But, I mean, hey, if we're able to make this thing last forever, why not? So without further ado, here's the before. I'm going to go ahead and transfer everything over. Three two, one. And just like that, guys, this steering wheel is fully assembled and check that out. I think it looks really, really, really good with the OEM M3 um, <laughs> trim right here. Check out these paddles, guys, like, wow. What a steering wheel. This thing looks so, so, so good. I actually came out better than I imagined. Now we have the Alcantara trim on this steering wheel. This is the M3 steering wheel. For any of you guys that want an OEM M3 steering wheel, this has the M3 stitching on it. Uh, it has like the bolstering on the side for the M3. And this is like an M uh, an M Sport trim on here. I actually ordered this steering wheel with the M Sport trim because I didn't want to have the M3 trim anymore because this is not an M3. But then I decided, you know what? We have M3 everywhere in this interior uh, because it is a custom M3 conversion. Um, there's nothing wrong with having an M3 three sport trim at this point. I mean, we're already too far into the project. So this, I'm going to sell it with the trim piece and everything. I'm probably going to sell for like 150 bucks. I mean, these steering wheels alone on eBay go for like $100. And this is a custom wrapped M Sport trim from Aza Auto Wheels. If any of you guys want this steering wheel, uh, hit me up on Instagram, 150 bucks. This will go. But without further ado, let's just go ahead and install our beauty into our fake M3. I took this build way too far. Me. 
guys, I think we sent it a little too hard. This steering wheel looks so good, feels so amazing. Um, this is the only time I'm gonna be touching it with my bare hands. We've got some gloves over here, some BMW gloves. We have the Aza wallet that comes with every purchase. This looks so good, the leather looks so nice. Definitely gonna be keeping this in my glove box, actually. Love it. We have our Alcantara shift boot right here um, with our Alcantara M Performance shift knob right over here and our Alcantara e-brake boot right here, which looks so, so, so good. This Alcantara combination, guys, is looking amazing. Can't wait to put the yellow M button right there and a yellow M button over here. So waiting on those to come in. This interior is just goals. Like, I, I honestly, it, whether this is an M3, 335, 328, this is, for me, like a goals interior. If this, if, if it could be any better, standard red leather, which is, I believe, the only other one, or actually, no, that comes with also a gray extended leather. But if I had the red extended leather, probably the most ideal spec. I love red interiors. Um, Obviously, those are probably go for like five or six Gs with the whole interior. Um, and then probably go with the red stripe here. Uh, but since uh, that wasn't really an option, I'm not spending six Gs on a 328. Uh, this full interior um, with the steering wheel and everything, I think cost me less than two grand, guys. And uh, wow, like what, what? an interior this this interior just looks phenomenal i'm so happy with it i'm super happy so as of right now i'm pretty much done with the interior guys we have the black headliner in the car as well um the dashboard extended leather the center console extended leather the m3 seats the door cards literally everything guys has been converted and it just looks absolutely amazing um the only other thing i do want to replace is probably this cluster we do have a new cluster coming in it's going to be super 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 sick i'll be showing you guys that hopefully in the near future um but for now this is it this is all i mean we replaced this guy we replaced this guy we replaced literally everything in this car guys from the boots to the trim pieces everything in this entire interior has been replaced so uh wow what a transformation i'm i'm <laughs> this is probably my best day i've ever had this is gorgeous so now that everything got sorted the interior we don't have to go in for a while i took a shower before actually hopping inside of this car the next thing i want to knock out is the front suspension i don't know if you guys know how bad the front suspension is on this car it is so bad to the point where the alignment guy could not really align it properly and at the same time when you just jack up the car and you move the wheel back and forward it literally shakes like crazy i'll show you guys what i mean you guys are gonna be like nor how have you been driving like this the reason why this is disintegrated right over here i don't know if you guys can see that but this this guard is disintegrated um because of this wheel literally just throwing itself forward burning it and coming back into place that's how much it's moving guys this thing's insane i'll show you guys let's go ahead and jack it up and replace it with these brand new control arms that i got from fcp euro And everything is back assembled on the front end. We removed all the four bad control arms. I don't know if you guys can see right here, but this one is cracked. Literally, the boot is literally destroyed in that one. Same goes for this one as well. Um, same goes for this right here as well. I don't know if you guys can see that's a little bit of a tear. Uh, this one seems not too bad, but I mean, might as well replace them all because we got them all. But yeah, the suspension was shot so bad. It was so loose. Like, literally, look at that. It is, it was literally destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> that was inevitable. So now that we got the suspension dialed in, the old interior put back together, guys, it is definitely time to be enjoyed and back to dailyable. I just got something in the mail right here, which is a custom cluster. Hopefully, you'll be selling that in the near future. But as of today's video, I think we did more than enough. This thing's gonna take a little bit of time, I believe, so I don't wanna sell it just yet. <laughs> but this thing is looking so, so, so good. I'm just, I'm in love with this car, guys. I'm just absolutely in love with this. Shout out to Aza for that amazing steering wheel. Shout out to FCPR for their lifetime warranty. It's just absolutely amazing. And last Lastly, I'd like to shout out myself for uh, putting in all the hard work. But without further ado, guys, today is kind of a shorter video, just more of an update for everything that's going on and uh, pretty much all the nice little mods that we did to the 328 daily. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button. If you guys respect the hustle, make sure to smash the like button. Without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out. Don't forget to join the Patreon, guys, if you guys want to see the X5 build.